Hello and welcome to the print. I am Iram Siddiqui and today we have here with us senior Congress leader and former Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Mr. Kamal Nath. Thank you for uh, joining her, joining us on the print, sir. Uh, we've just returned from an extensive day of campaigning and uh, we are hoping to get some answers from you. Uh, sir, if I may say so, you you are the last man standing in Madhya Pradesh since BJP has been sweeping the state in the assembly as well as the Lok Sabha uh, elections. What do you think uh, is it that makes you different from the others or what is it that you've done for the constituency that distinguishes you from the other Congress well, leaders? The progress Chibara made, that's why we won the last time, the only seat which we won. And uh, people recognize that how Chibara has changed from being about 90% below the poverty line to what it is today, the economic activity, the markets, all that people can see. There's nothing I have to say. So I always tell the people that you are my biggest gawa, you are my biggest witnesses, because they have witnessed it all, how Chinbara was transformed. Right. Uh, so in the run-up to the Lok Sabha, we saw a lot of Congress leaders switching over to the BGP, and some of them like Mr. Uh, Deepak Saxena, or whether it was Vikram Mahake, they, these were your loyalists, people that you've groomed and, you know, bought into politics like Vikram Mahake. Why is it that you couldn't dissuade them from joining the BGP? I said you do what you feel like. It's, Without going to the reasons, they were themselves associated with the BJP uh, in business, in all kinds of things. So I don't want to get into that. But it's the end. It's not leaders which matter. It's the people which matter. And the question is, how did people react to it? Right. That's it. Okay. Uh, so a couple of months taking a little back, there has been a big needle of suspicion and now I don't know if it was because of media, as you've rightly pointed out. Or, but then I think there was also a period where there was a lot of ambiguity and a lack of clarity from your part on you joining the BJP. What exactly happened? And if you could just set the record straight at one thing happened. They just started off in the press. People did come to me from uh, Chinbara saying, why don't you go to the BJP? I said, I have to get rid of them. I said, Thik hai, so stay. So stay. I just to ward them off. And... Uh, that started media speculation. And uh, uh, I never ever said I was talking to the BJP. I never said I was going to join the BJP. Then the press asked me, I said, I never said this. Why you people? You correct yourselves. I said, you don't have to ask me to correct it. Hmm. So you were never in touch with any BJP leader no, or nothing at all? I, I know so many BJP leaders. But from a point of view of joining, no. Okay. So you have been uh, with the Congress family, right, from uh, Sanjay Gandhi and you've seen Indra Gandhi. You've been, you've seen Congress through the highs and lows and everything. What do you think, I mean, from your prism, what do you think is wrong with the Congress at this point of time and how do you think it can be rectified? Well, everything is not wrong with the Congress. There's nothing which is perfect. So let's not say that uh, there are things to be rectified. We've got to look at organization. Politics has changed very much in the last 40 years. We must remember that. And this change must be recognized, accepted and acted upon. What do you think uh, is the change that Congress is not about to make when it comes to the organization? You see, today people, there is social media. Now, previously there was no social media. And five years ago, there were 25% people on social media. Right. Today, 99% are on social media. People are more aware. And uh, they look at politics has also become very localized. It's not a global issue. It's not a national issue. It's a localized issue. So this localized politics must be understood. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, you were the chief minister in 2018. And obviously the Congress lost its government because Mr. Sindhya with that loyalist switched over to the BJP. In hindsight, do you think you could have placated him and, you know, today he's aspiring to be the CM, a place where you once were? Do you think things could have well, been different? I, I don't want to say they were loyalists of Sindhya. They went for money. And they told me also. They would talk to me on the phone when they were in Bangalore. That today we got five crores. Tomorrow we are going to get this much. Every step. One of them had even come to me saying that we got five crores. Can you keep it? Can you store it for me? Hmm. You know, so I, I went through all this. But there were certain things which I decided principally. I will not do. Even and if that costed you your government? Absolutely. Because I was not hungry to be chief minister. But I must say that I wanted to be ethically, morally and principally right. Right. And uh, so 
if you look at madhya pradesh right now you are confined to chhindwara digvijay singh is confined to rajgarh you two seems to be the last two people fighting it out when it comes to the bjp i won't say that i'm confined to chhindwara i'll be campaigning in hoshangabad i'll be campaigning in betul i'll be you know campaigning in other places just now after this election is over in another 3 days or 4 days right digvijay singh is contesting himself so obviously he's got confined and but i since my election is in the first phase i'll go to other places okay uh so in the assembly of course i mean congress believes that evm was one of the major reasons that they lost but some other factors that are being counted upon was the largely behna and its tremendous impact especially on the women voters do you think that uh, that kind of scheme still has the sway and how do you i don't it? think it has a sway because they said we give, i was the first one to announce that when our government comes we will give 1500 right then they announced 1200 Then they said we'll make it fifteen hundred next month. We'll make it so much. We will go up to three thousand. They have not done that. Right. And women are angry about that. Right. So this the results will show. You think it will be counterproductive? Yes, it will now be counterproductive. And uh, uh, so in the recently released pre-poll surveys, uh, I mean it it is hinting at that the country will vote for again NDA led. Uh, government uh, with uh, a lot of people favoring uh, mr narendra modi as the prime minister and this would be the second the third time in fact that congress will be having a setback when it comes to lok sabha under rahul gandhi's leadership how do you look at the gandhi gandhi family's relevancy to the congress do you think they are an integral part of of course they are an integral part of the congress and so is priyanka gandhi and uh, a lot of people they asked me here why don't you call rahul gandhi here ji so i said for what hmm hmm जिसे नहीं हम मिलना चाहते हैं उनकी बात सुनना चाहते हैं दे टेल मी ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग सो दे नो दिस थिंग दिस इज अ लार्जली अर्बन इशू अर्बन वेज न्यूटन्स डेली सेइंग दैट राहुल गांधी प्रियंका गांधी ऑल दिस इज ऑल रबिश